Welcome to MC Podcast, aka Men of Culture Podcast. Yep. And today we are gonna put you on. Hell yeah. We gonna hook your boy up. Listen, now I know some of y'all want to put others on to anime, but they don't fuck with it. They just think it's about anime titties and tentacles. And anime is not like that. So we more than that. The Men of Culture Podcast. We are Men of Culture. Yep. We are going to hook you up and give you some animes that you can put on to beginners or people that you want to put on. Your girl, your best friend, people that think anime is dumb, but you think they might give it a try if you give them a good one. Oh yeah. This is the video to watch. So make sure you do us a favor. Go ahead and like the video and comment down below. Subscribe, subscribe for real, bro. We're trying to get to what? We're trying to get, no, we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers in like oh, three oh, months. Oh. Three months, bro. Thousand subscribers in three months. That's a crazy Hell goal. Hell yeah. Thousand subscribers. Yeah. It's a big goal, but I believe we get this because we what? Men of culture. Men of culture, yeah. So thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Let's get in this video, baby. Yo, baby. Today we're gonna put you on for the best animes for beginners. And we're gonna start off hot with The Promised Neverland, season one. Get that right, season one. This anime, promise you, all these animes we're gonna list are gonna be very original. They're gonna have all their own plots. They're not gonna be some genetic, uh, generic stuff that you guys are usually, uh, usually watching. But for newcomers, this show is super cool. I don't want to spoil anything because a lot happens in the first episode. Give the first episode a try. It's kind of like a, a, a not not like a horror, but it's a psychological. It's, it's a psychological thriller. That's the best way to yeah. put it. And if you're interested in something like that, check out the Neverish Promise. It's very peak, very good. Try it out. Good characters, good design, good super cool plot idea. And we're gonna hit up with the next one. Great for beginners. Yeah. Next one, obviously, you already know this one's gonna be on the list at some point. Attack on Titan. It is like basically giant zombies. Basically, <laughs> like it starts off as giant zombies. This is definitely something that most people who haven't even watched anime know. So if it's your boy, go ahead and put him on to Attack on Titan because that's easy money. He gonna fuck with it immediately. Episode one just starts off with a bang. So obviously go watch that one. Hell yeah! All right, and I promise you guys, if the first two right now aren't doing it for you, this one's gotta do it. This is super popular. The animation is fucking amazing. Everybody's raving about it and everyone's still raving about it. It is Demon Slayer. It don't matter if you're old, young, girl, boy, anything, right? You, will, you'll, you, As soon as you see this, you're going to get caught on by the first episode. It's sad, but a lot happens. You grow from it. You see good sides. You see bad sides. For someone who's starting anime, it's very simple. Nothing crazy. Nothing out there. Very cool. Give it a try. Demon Slayer. Awesome. It's got movies. It's got bunch of episodes, bunch of seasons. So if you got time to spend, give it a try. To all my binge watch out there, Demon Slayer is the move. Yeah, beautiful animation. You have to get that right, bro. Next one is Parasite. So next one to watch is Parasite. This is actually a all around pretty good anime. Okay. For a beginner to watch, is a great start. Especially for someone like, especially if you want to put your girl on, you want to watch with your girl, something like that. Are you watching it with one of your friends that not who like really hates anime? I think Parasite is like a really good anime to start off with because of the fact that it's really it, it, the plot is kind of in, it's really interesting, obviously, but also the way the character develops throughout the story oh, yeah. really Holy, yeah. it really does do a really great job. And also, I can see this actually being an actual like story that a, a Netflix show would do on character whatever and people fuck with it so great anime to watch with your girl to watch with your friend that hate anime all right i'm gonna put you guys on the next one here on the list and this is gonna be uh death note um this guy this has got a live action movie as well and that even just shows like how far it's been taken and how popular it is and a lot of the people that actually haven't watched the anime has watched the live action so that just shows how good of a, a story this is let alone the animation and all that sort of thing. So as long as you can get past that idea, this just shows a really cool story. Who This guy is given a lot of power, and he takes his power, and he uses it, and, and he, at the start, uses it for good. And it really just shows how, how people can change, and it's just a crazy cool concept. And I think you guys should give it a try if you like a little bit of a psychological thriller. And, and it's got the plot, man. As long as that's all you care about, give it a try. It's super cool. The main character is super smart, super cool as well. All the characters are done, so put it up. And next one is Erased. Now, I like, uh, I really yeah. like Erased. When I first watched this, I was like, yo, I could recommend it to manheads. you never watched anime before. For one, main character starts off, normal ass person, old as hell. 
Then it's like some type of time travel type of shit. Honestly, once again, this is an anime I really think a Netflix would do as like a regular ass live action show hit pop off. So I really think this would be a good anime to watch for beginners. Once again, you can put your girl onto this. If you got a friend that you try to put on to anime, try to make her a woman of culture, then put her on in a race. Great anime to watch. Hell yeah. Um, next on the list, gotta be My Hero Academia. I know some of you are like, eh, this could be a little eh for some people, but it really shows. It's a really simplistic uh, plot, what a lot of people can understand. And once again, as long as you get past that animation part, it's about basically superhero society, and it's about this young boy with no powers, and he's gonna get put through a lot of challenges and a lot of ideas, but he, he stays, met, like, it's just a great story, and, it, and it's kind of like the boys where they have all these powers, but it, it takes its own turn, and it's a really original and cool anime. If you're interested in superpowers, fighting, um, like even just animation, and just a story as well. So everything about it's really cool, the characters go into depth, I mean, just give it a try, man. I mean, if any of these, any of these others are appealing to you, you just gotta give them a try. At least five, try the first episode. Because um, these will grab you the, by the first episode, I promise yeah. you. And plus, My Hero is a great underdog story. Right. Like, I know, let's, we fuck with underdogs. Yeah. So My Hero is a huge underdog story. Yeah. We really like that. But the next one on the list is Your Live April. This is one of my, uh, my all-time... This is one of my favorite animes, to be honest. Like, I watch it like, every April. And uh, I'm not gonna say much, but this is an anime, once again, I definitely recommend you to just put someone onto it and let them watch it by themselves. But if you wanna watch it with your girl, go ahead. Um, it's, it's got a romance-esque to it, and it's got a lot more to it than it looks. Yes. And it, it, it's got great animation as well, so. We're not trying to say too much. Right. This is a great anime to watch for beginners. It really is. It's a, it's a romance anime, so like, if you like the romance stuff, you want to, if you like, know someone who likes romance and secretly likes it, but like they don't want to admit it, put them onto this. But I would recommend you to watch this by yourself, not because it's like bad or anything, but it's just because you don't want to look like a bitch. You'll just, you'll know <laughs> if you watch it, guys. You will know. So I think the next on our list has got to be Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Um, this is a really compelling story about two brothers. And right off the bat, you can tell something's up. And they've got like a special power in the world. It's called alchemy, but it, it's kind of like, it explains it a lot more in the show once you get into it. But it's a very, very cool story about, you know, two brothers going on a journey and to accomplish something that they're looking forward to. And I promise you this first episode will grab you. And it's just like, a lot of these animes that people are like generalized, this is nothing like it. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of these ones we are listing have its own original plot and everything. And, and this is what makes them compelling is because not only are they so popular, but they're so good. So that's why we're recommending it to you and not just because it's so generic and, and something like everybody else is trying to tell you to watch. But yeah, Full, full Metal Gunner is beautiful. I love it. Great for the boys. Yeah, great, great, great watch for the boys. boys. Yeah. I think it's got action. If you like action, it's got fighting. It's got thinking. It's got plot. It's got relationships. It's got characters. But if you're looking for that sort of thing, once again, it's another way to start. And that's one of the ways I started too. Full Metal Alchemist is one of the one of the first enemies I started watching, so definitely push one of that. You're from the man of culture himself. Hell uh, yeah, again. Yeah. All right, next one to watch is One Punch Man. This is a great one, and you, want, you have a little brother that's mad annoying, but you want to put him on an anime because you want to grow him up and help him be a man of culture. One Punch Man. I put my little brothers onto this. Now they annoy me about One Punch Man all the time, but it was worth it because they became men of culture. Put you can put your little family members onto One Punch Man. Uh, people, I really think it's good for like. Younger kids, like 10 years old and all that stuff, like want to watch something that's like kind of meme and fun, then like I think One Punch Man is definitely a great anime to put on for someone who never watched anime before. And One Punch Man also has some subliminal messages in a lot of what happens, so it's not necessarily only for kids, but I mean, it's, it's obviously for everybody, like almost every anime out there, and it's got super cool action, super cool fight scenes, so if you like stuff like that, definitely check it out. But the next one we're going to hit up is, uh, fuck, what was it? Uh, it was Dr. Stone. So Dr. Stone, it's it's sciencey and it's got a super compelling story. And if you watch the first episode, you'll see what happens then and there. And I promise you, it'll get you there. But it's got a science, it's sciencey with a twist. And I recommend you watch this in the dub because in the sub, it's a lot of information coming you at coming to you at once. And if you're not an anime watcher who's used to or like you don't have your shirt on yet, 
Yeah, you Reading know the sub is very hard because it comes out with a lot of stuff. So watch that in the dub, relax, sit back, and that's just an enjoyable show to watch. It's a post apocalyptic type of thing. Right. But yeah, do not watch in the sub. If you have not watched your sub Sharon Gun, yeah. then you're not gonna get yeah, it. Sorry, you're not ready. but you, you'll, you'll get it eventually, I promise. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Next, we got Horror Toriyama, I think it is. Oh, yeah. Horima. Um, this one is very, like, this one's romance esque, but there's a lot of wholesome moments in this is very popularized by a lot of people because they did the connections between the two characters very well. It feels very real. And for somebody who's like maybe interested in romance or like you watch stuff like that on Netflix or so and stuff like that, give this a try. I mean, this is something that I'll grab you again. It's got great animation, cool characters, and the cast is all cool. So if you're interested in stuff, and like if you like high school, if you like that like back slice in the high life. school, slice like life, high school love type of stuff. You want to be brought back to your high school days and like I don't know your first love, whatever. This is a great wholesome ass anime to watch. I mean, another one we could talk about is Vinland Saga. That's definitely another one. Oh, that's a really good one. That one I'll be good for. Yeah, Vinland Saga is a phenomenal anime. It actually is phenomenal on the message it has, right? And on top of the story, in a way, it builds up to the the message, right? So I really recommend this for really anybody, but um, in this case, I would say it's definitely good for the boys to watch. Um, it's, it has a great, really strong message to watch. So it has a genuine message that I think people can actually learn from it. Yeah, they too would learn to and kind yeah. of just take that as an experience. You would take that into your real life and apply the message that they have for Ben Saga. And once again, it's a great story. The characters you start to fuck with and you understand why they act the way they act. Right. And there's reason to everything in that show. So really great, great watch. A message to you guys is like these are all great animes, and I, I, me and Khalil went through all this and really tried to like set it up to where if you're a beginner, these will appeal to you. So if you want, give them a try. Let us know in the comments if you like any of them, or if you start watching anime because of this. And you know, like, subscribe, and comment. I mean, if you got anything else to say, hit it up. Nah, that's it. We, um, I appreciate you watching. Hey, make sure you subscribe because we're trying to get to that thousand in three months, man. Yeah, facts. All right, that's been animes for beginners. See you. Peace.